Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the Ishin Twig 115mm micro brushless racing quadcopter. In this video I'm going to quickly go over its features, show you how to set it up and then head outdoors and test it out. The Ishin Twig is available in two versions. In this video I'm going to check the one that is bundled with the Cadex Baby Turtle HD slash FB camera and in addition you can also get another version which costs about $30 less and comes with the Runcam Nano 2 FED camera. The Crazy Bee F4 Pro V3 flight controller on both versions feature an FR Sky built-in receiver. However, as you may probably know, its range is very limited, so Ishin made it easy for you, and this plug is already pre-soldered to the flight controller for adding an external receiver. In terms of packaging, the twig came well protected inside this Ishin branded carrying case. Inside you can find the quadcopter, a bag that contains a screwdriver, a hex key driver, extra screws, pads for the battery, and one set of Gemfriend 3025 biobladed propellers, an OSB control board for the Cadex Baby Turtle camera, and the user manual. So you should note that no batteries are included, and I'm going to leave a link down below to the ones that I recommend to use with this quadcopter. In terms of components, the Twig is using this Ishin branded 1105 5200 kV motors, which are pushing the Gemfen 3025 bi-bladed propellers. On the bottom of the stack, you can find the Crazy B F4 Pro V3 all-in-one flight controller. It features a 10 ampere 4-in-1 ESC, came pre-flashed with Betaflight 4.04, and as I mentioned before, this is the FR Sky version, so it has a built-in SPIRX receiver that supports FR Sky D8 and D16 protocols. On the center, we can find the Cadex Baby Turtle camera board. The micro SD card slot is located over here, and over here we can find this plug that connects to the OSD control board and will help you to configure the camera. On the top of the stack, we can find a 40 channels VTX that supports smart audio and has a selectable output strength of 25, 100, and 200 millivolts. On the front of the quadcopter, well protected by this rigid canopy, we can find the camera unit of the Cadex Baby Turtle. You can adjust its angle by loosening the screws on the side. And finally, on the back, we can find this linear antenna, which I recommend to secure using some glue in this manner, in order to avoid it getting caught by the propellers. In terms of dimensions, the Asian twig weighs 67.2 grams, not including a battery, so it weighs about the same, as the Dayton Cube 339. The thickness of the bottom unibody plate is 3 mm, its wheelbase is about 114 mm, and the distance between the back motors and the front ones, and also between the right motors and the left ones, is 78.3 mm, so this frame features a true X pattern. The frame is a little bit flexible, but I can tell you since I already flew this quadcopter that it seems to me pretty durable, since it features these supporting arms, and I crashed it a few times, and no harm was done. Now by the way, when you get in this quadcopter, you don't get it with these adhesive tapes, which you can find over here on the sides, and the reason I added them is to protect the motor wires, which came pretty exposed, and I recommend to do the same in order to prevent them getting cut by the propellers or getting pulled in case of a crash. In case you choose to use the built-in SPIRX FR Sky receiver, you need to head over to the CLI tab and type bind underscore RX underscore SPI and then bind the receiver either on D8 or D16 protocols. And just as a reminder, you can choose the protocol that you are going to use by heading over to the configuration tab and selecting FRSky D if you choose to use FRSky D8 protocol and FRSky X if you choose to use the D16 protocol. If you'd like to use an external receiver, you need to head over to the port section, enable the serial RX on UART1, and then select the receiver type that you'd like to use in this box. So you'll need to deselect the SPI RX support option and use either PPM or probably serial based receiver and then SBUS or IBUS or whatever type of receiver that you're going to use. Save the settings and then after binding the receiver, make sure that everything is working fine under the receiver tab and select all the modes that you'd like to use, such as angle, beeper, and etc. The next thing that I've done is to head outdoors and test the Ishin Twig using a 2S, 3S, and even a 4S LiPo battery. 
I can tell you after testing all these batteries that the one that I recommend to use is this 520mAh 3S LHB battery by GNB since the quadcopter felt pretty powerful using it and the flight time was close to 4 minutes which is not bad at all. Regarding the other batteries that I tested, using this 2S LHB battery the performance was pretty mediocre, using this 300mAh 3S LHB by Ishin the performance was ok, however the flight time was only close to 2 minutes, and finally using this 4S LHV 520mAh battery by GNB, the quadcopter was pretty much unflyable, since even though I scaled the throttle, the quadcopter suffered from a lot of vibrations, as you are about to see in the flight footage. Maybe it's going to be possible to fix this issue by adding a low ESL capacitor and also doing extensive PID tuning, However, in my opinion, if you're going to buy this quadcopter, try it with the battery that I recommended and see for yourself that it just flies great. I also recommend that if you're going to buy this quadcopter, don't be lazy and add an external receiver, since this built-in FRSCAR receiver is very limited and will only get you to around 150 meters tops, and this quadcopter can get pretty fast and cover some ground in a short time, so probably 150 meters are not going to be enough. So overall, I can tell you that if you're in the market for a Twig Class 3-inch racer, you should definitely check out the Ishin Twig, since even though it's not using premium parts like the Dutton Cube, it costs $130 for the HD version and $98 for the non-HD version, so it will give you a pretty good value for money, especially considering that it's pretty fun to fly, seems durable, and also the HD footage using the Cadix Baby Turtle camera looks pretty good. Now I'm going to show you the flight footage, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos, and goodbye. I've got an itch I can't scratch, I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me, an open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round, welcome to the freak show, the best in town. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody, honestly. I've been living in my own head, constantly thoughts jumbled round, think I need a new lobotomy. Wait, all these thoughts are too negative. I don't want to get lost in the sedative. Gotta show them what I got, I'm competitive. You know I'm about to go off, I won't let them win, I'll take a stab. I want to chase a bag, I want a way I can change all the things I lack. I gotta face the facts, I gotta taste in that. Got me obsessed with the rest, I got an itch to scratch I just wanna break these chains Always asking for greatness True to myself, I never fake it See no many ones that I saw they get famous And when I say the truth, most really can't take it In spite of everything I've been through, I'ma make it Fake friends, but on my downfall is toxic Day one, started the outlaws for profit Now all I do is write verses, no talking All I do is put the work in, no option This was everything I ever wanted Created a legacy off of me, just being honest And the fake ones hate, but it's all to no avail They wanna see me lose, but you know I never fail